What's up everybody, Ryan here. Today we're talking about Facebook ads. Facebook ads is a kind of a complex system. You can't just go in and say, all right, here we go. I'm gonna make my ad and here comes my millions, okay? You have to understand the basics. You have to understand how it all works and then you also have to understand how to target people. And so you can't just talk about all that in just one video. It's, it's just not doable for me because I am one person who loves to go into detail, which is why I'm making a series. This week is gonna be the most basic. It's the only one of its kind that I'm gonna make. Um, which is basically I'm just going to go over the outline of how Facebook advertising works, how you can benefit from Facebook and how Facebook benefits from you and how people benefit from you and how you benefit by people's information. Anyways, but and then I'm going to talk about how you want to go about organizing your advertisement. All right. And then in later videos, I'll go over how to um, build an advertisement, how to target people, how to create advanced advertisements, and how to target specific people that you have already advertised in, in the past. All right, there's multiple different ways to target, and there's multiple different people to target, and there's multiple ways to scale your ads, uh, lower your ads, monetize everything. All right, you got to know everything in order to succeed, and that's why I'm doing this. So let's go over the basics on how Facebook ads work by looking at the board. All right, guys, so here we have our little diagram. I'm sure you're wondering what the heck it all means. And over here, you have your people of the world, you specifically, me, all right, everybody who owns a Facebook account. And then you have yourself, and then you have Facebook in the middle, and they're kind of the group that put, brings you guys together, kind of introduces the people to your company. And you notice that the arrows are pointing both ways, all right? It's not just one arrow pointing one way or one arrow pointing the other. Everybody benefits from this model and that's why it's such an amazing structure, all right? So it starts out with Facebook. <clears throat> Facebook provides a service to the people, all right? The people, how do they pay for this, this service that Facebook offers? Well, guess what? They don't pay them with money, they pay them with information information that you provide them. You provide them whether or not you're single, whether or not you're married, whether or not you're engaged or in a relationship. You let them know what religion you are. You let them know what your interests are, what pages you search for, your search history. Okay, they they monitor everything. They have their software that collects all this data, all this information. And what do they do? They give the people's information to businesses such as yourself. And what do you do in return? You give them money and that's how Facebook makes their money is through advertisements. Okay. And so it's it's a very well organized structure and it works great. And people benefit on all sides. All right. Depending on how well people are at doing things. So for example, you're not going to benefit from it unless you actually know how to use it. And that's why we're going over this video. And Facebook doesn't benefit unless they provide you the correct information. So that's how that structure works. So how do you make sure that Facebook gives you the right information about those people over there? Well, you see, up here is my second diagram, which is what we're going to go over now, is here you have your general topics, all right? This could be related to, say, Walmart, Target, uh, a mall, you know, anywhere that is places are providing goods um, of generic types. And then what you have after that, after a general store, you have your niches. So that could be related to yoga. That could be related to fishing. That could be related to rock climbing. That could be related to, you know, some random niche that I don't know about that you do. Okay, that is a niche. But you don't just advertise to your niche, all right? That's, that's to help you keep things simple. But at the same time, you got to find the interest groups. The interest groups is where your money's coming from. All right. So inside each niche, you have multiple interest groups. They, this, this, the reason why I don't have them labeled is because it can go on forever. If you know more about the niche than anyone else, and this is why it's important to know about your niche. Okay. If you know more about your niche than anyone else, you're going to have more interest groups. The more interest groups, the more people you can advertise to. The more people you can advertise to controllably more money you'll make because more, the higher the chance people will come out, love your product because you know what they want and they will buy it from you and you will make money back, making this diagram worth it for you. <clears throat> so 
in an interest group, you have to find the strong. All right, how do you do this? Well, first you got to start out with the list inside that interest group. So say for example, everybody, is, say you're doing a fishing niche or uh, a yoga niche or the dog niche, okay? Say your interest group and you're going to focus on magazines, all right? So there's multiple dog magazines. I tried looking at that a couple of days ago and there was like 15 of them, all right? So you're going to write down a list of 15 things, all right? And from that list, you're going to round it down because by now you probably have about 15 million people that are interested in what you are writing down for your list uh, in that interest group. So you want to make sure that that is not that high. You're going to want to bring that down to about 75 to 500,000 people. Okay, with that amount of people, that's a good amount of people that you don't run out of people to be interested in what you have to sell really fast. Say, for example, you have less than that. You only have 50 people to advertise to. You could get all those people in one day. But if you have 75,000, make this a little bit more, 75,000 to 500,000, that's good to last you, you know, a couple of months, a couple of well, it depends on how much you're willing to put into your advertisements, but it can last you an extremely long time. So how do you make it go from 15 million to 75,000 to 500,000? Well, you're going to find, say, this one has the most likes, most followers, most everything, and you're going to get rid of that on that list. Okay, that will reduce the number, but not that much. But what you want to do instead is, instead of it just say, I want them to be interested in this or this or this keyword is or this or this or this or this. I want them to be interested in any of these and your second list, which is going to include that second thing. That will bring down this number significantly lower. Now, do you stop there? Well, that means they're interested in two of the magazines, but what if they're interested in three or four? All right, so you make your second list, and they have to like this one as well, okay, by erasing this one, all right? That means you're going to only have 13 in this list, but one in this one and one in this one, okay? This way, your audiences are narrowed down, all right, from a niche to an interest group, and from that interest group, you have targeted the strong. You have targeted the people who are dedicated to the, to reading those types of magazines, all right? If they're interested in one, chances are they're, they're interested in what you have to sell. So if they are interested in two of those things, chances are they're extremely interested. And what if they're interested in three of those things all at the same time? Well, guess what? They're super dedicated to that particular niche, and they're probably going to buy whatever it is that you are throwing at them as long as it is something that they can uh, perceive as something of value to them. Another thing that you can do is find their buying history. So you can find that as well. Remember, Facebook has all of their information. They know if people have left their website from an ad and bought something on somebody else's website. So they will provide you with purchase history as well. So you can also include and Purchase history. List. All right, so this is how Facebook ads work. This is how you find your interest groups. All right, but what exactly does Facebook have that is ex an extra benefit to you? Well, you see, the longer you have your advertisement going and the longer you have it targeting that particular audience and people come and visit your website. All right, first Facebook will start with people visiting your website. And then what will happen is once they find, okay, these are the type of people who are interested in this guy's website, it's going to act as a funnel, all right? All the people in that interest group, and then after a couple of weeks, people visiting your website, it'll take that group of people and take away from the group of people all the people who don't want to visit your website. 
and then it'll just have the people who visit your website and then people will start purchasing and then it'll eliminate the people who just visit your website and just focuses on the people who are potentially going to buy from your website and then it'll focus on the people who buy from your website and that's the group of people that you want so you gotta also give your Facebook ads a little bit of time to uh, build up the information build up that pixel build up the information that will actually find those potential buyers um, what I recommend is hey don't go splurging twenty dollars a day on Facebook ads that's probably you, you might get a sale but also it might not it'll just be focusing on that group of people who might go to your website you want to find the people who will actually buy from you so start out with like five dollar a day ads ten dollar a day ads and then after a while when people actually start visiting your website you can increase that budget I would only increase it though if people actually purchase and I wouldn't increase it unless it's an insane amount of purchases. And so when people actually start buying, then you want to increase your budget and expand both horizontally and vertically in increasing your money and increasing your potential buyers. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I know that was a very basic understanding and I didn't do any live examples, but this is more for the people who don't understand Facebook ads and don't understand how it will benefit them and don't know how to really target their audience. So that's what I mostly wanted to focus on. In later videos, we'll talk about how to actually develop an ad, how to make ads uh, for your audiences. And so if you feel like I left some basic information out, please go down and leave a comment. I'll get to it in my next video that I make about ads. And um, if you just like the video and you have a question about what I have said, go ahead and ask that question as well. Um, if you like the video though, hit that comment, uh, hit that like button as well. And if you have not already, please subscribe. We talk about all this stuff all the time. Um, that is all I have. I will see you tomorrow in the next video.